today I am making a um, top 10 mommy favorites. This is my personal favorites. I'm gonna recommend some products and if you guys don't like it then you know you don't like it but this is my um, top 10 um, based off of my toddler. Um, you know everyone has their own thing but the first thing I want to do I'm pretty sure every mom's top thing is to always have a portable toilet. Um, I learned this the hard way every time we would travel. I think I learned it on the day of Disneyland we went to. Um, we didn't bring her toilet. Yes, we have a little toilet, but we always keep it at home. And we didn't bring it with us because, you know, I didn't think it was going to be necessary for the travel. But apparently it was because we pulled over, like, I think twice for Deliza to pee. And each time she had to, like, squat or, like, we had to look somewhere for her to use the bathroom. So... I always bring our toilet since then, um, no matter what, even if it's just like a five minute trip, I bring it and I'm going to show you the one I have. I don't know if it has pee in there. It does. Um, let me see. Ooh, it has pee in there right now, you guys, so excuse it. So the one I have is this one and everything comes apart. So like it becomes a stool for them and once she starts learning to go on like the toilet, you can put this as a seat and this comes off so every time we pull over on the street and she uses it or go to the park and she uses it I can just dump out the pee Whew. poop thing obviously just bring an extra baggie to dispose of it but um that's my number one I wanted to go over with you guys definitely recommend you guys doing that bring it with you everywhere even if you think it's like dumb to have a toilet in the back in the trunk but it really isn't it's actually the smartest thing you can do um, another thing is, I think this is convenient for space in, um, for your diaper bag, or if you don't take a diaper bag, you know, for your purse or wherever you take things. Uh, I'm like, a you know, a money saver, so if I buy things of the Liza, like underwears, I save, like, the plastic bags if it comes in it, like this came from a bag of her underwears and I totally kept it because like, it's like reusable it has a little clip on it and everything so I use this to pack her um, inhaler I take it with me everywhere you can use it for other things um, I have you can even use Ziploc bags I have Ziploc bags and I put like little um, hair bands and bows just in case her hair gets messy or sometimes the bands like rip so and then you don't have any so it's like really convenient so you don't have things scattered in your diaper bag and stuff so that's my number two to go to for me um you can put other stuff in there also um let's see i have like a list because i tend to go off topic all the time so i have to make myself a list next thing i wanted to bring up was her sippy cup okay I've had trouble getting her sippy cups. I bought her like dozens and I'm pretty sure you guys have too. So this is one of my favorite recommendations is this sippy cup. Actually, I didn't end up buying this one. The way I got this one was because um, I was at a part my auntie's party and I lost the sippy cup that I had just gotten for her that day. And um, my aunties thought it was trash. So they threw the trash because some other people that we didn't like was there. So they thought it was their sippy cup so they threw it in the trash when it turned out to be mine. So my auntie felt bad and she bought like a pack of like these ones and she gave me one and I ended up falling in love with it. Like I want to buy her another one because she's starting to bite off the strong. I don't like that. But this one is totally, totally, totally spill proof. Like it really is. Like I questioned it because it's a straw, you know. But it really is. Like she has thrown this cup so many times and has spilled nothing. She has done this. It has nothing in there right now. But she has done this plenty of times and nothing spills. And... You know, kids have the tendency, even with straws, when they're tired, to lay down and, like, try and drink it like that. And it ends up spilling on their face. This one does it. Like, it takes that precaution of when kids tend to do that. It will not spill on her face or anything. So, I absolutely recommend this one. This is a Contigo cup. I can't tell you the price because my auntie gave it to me, but it came in a pack of three for her. She said she got it at Target. So, I really recommend this one. This one's freaking awesome. I bring it with her everywhere. Um, it's definitely better than the other one, the 360 cup, because that one, like, she used to have that one, and every time she would throw it, like, the thing would pop off, or it would still spill because she tends to throw it really hard, and this one, she's throwing it really hard and hasn't spilled, so totally recommend this one if you guys are looking for a sippy cup for your toddler. Definitely, definitely, definitely number one. Totally recommend it. Um, another thing is, sorry. It tends to go down, so I gotta like lift it back up. Um, I have these products that I absolutely love for my kid. Um, 
It's like bathing products or get ready products for her. It's like lotion and shampoo. I have the whole set. Um, I also use another product, but I don't have that one on me. But I use the Aveeno product. And I use it because my daughter has like... Um, She's like very sensitive to a lot of products, like her skin and all that doesn't really react too well to like many products. Like when she was a kid, um, Loves was the only diapers that like wouldn't give her a rash. Even I even tried Honest, so you know, she's very sensitive. Her skin's very sensitive. So I use Aveeno products and I get both of them. I get the regular Aveeno one and uh, the lavender one. And I just got the regular shampoo, wash and shampoo. Um, they're all the big sets. Um, it is pricey, I'm not going to lie to you guys, but it is so worth it. I've had these for like, probably like, uh, I'll say almost two months now. If you buy the big packets, it'll last you a while. So you're not constantly buying them. Um, the other product that I do use is Dove. I absolutely love Dove. Like I'm using the Dove body wash for myself right now. And the moment that they did the baby products for Dove, I bought it and I fell in love with it. It's so soft and so moisturizing for your skin and doesn't dry it out. Um, but I kind of vary between those two. Like if I'm feeling like I want to use a vino for her, I buy a vino. And if I want to buy Dove, I just buy Dove because I think they haven't made like a lotion product for them. So I like having like a whole set of everything. So yeah, that's the reason why I use a vino most of the time. Another thing that I use for her bath routine. I want to, oh by the way, I need to buy like little travel size because sometimes she ends up getting dirty when I wash her when we're like somebody else's house. I don't have lotion to put back on her. So like I want to buy like little travel size like if you ever go to a party or anything like it comes in handy. So, oh, I don't know why I got this one again. But it's another product. Um, I use this one for myself and I love it. And um, I used it on the Lysa. Not to, I use it on her a couple of times. I don't use it too often. But um, it doesn't harm her. It's like it's like all natural products. So I'm pretty sure you can use it on your kid. I've used it on her. It didn't affect her skin or anything. But um, obviously if your kid is like really, really sensitive, you might just want to use like a tiny bit of the product to make sure he is not, she, he or she is not allergic to it. My daughter wasn't, so I use it whenever she's like really, really, really fussy and she doesn't want to go down to bed. So I just draw her a bath. I put this um, product on her. It's like a lavender, it's an argan oil and lavender um, body wash, but I use it like a little bubble bath for her. And it's from Beauty and Planet. Um, it was a new product and I saw it. And I usually don't get lavender products because some of them are really strong, like scented. But this one really isn't. It's really soft and the lotion. But the wash is really creamy and soft and it's not too strong it's very uh, I don't know how to describe it it's just very very nice and calming and very creamy for a body wash it's not too harsh on your skin and it leaves you like really really soft so absolutely love it, it smells really good and she loves it too it really calms her down like it really does a trick when I use this and her lavender lotion it really like does the trick to put her to sleep it really does so I absolutely recommend it for you mommies and for your kids if they don't seem to have a reaction to it and don't have really sensitive skin types. I totally recommend this one. It's Beauty and Planet, the Argan Oil and Lavender. It's called Relaxing Day. So that's one of the things. Another thing is when she is sick or anything like a stuffy nose kind of sick, not fever wise. But when she's sick, I use this, um, I either use the kids, um, What's that called? Vapor rub, but I don't really like strong products like that for like my kid. That's just my point, like my personal thing for my child. But um, I use this one. It's called Zarbies. The camera doesn't really pick it up. I don't know how to get out the way, but it's called Zarbies. It has like a little B on the side, and it's a soothing chest rub, and it's all organic, like it's plant based. There we go. So it has like eucalyptus, lavender, and beeswax, and it smells amazing. Like even for me, I'm like 22 years old, and if I like start rubbing it on her chest, and I get a whiff of it, I really want to knock out, and it like opens up your nostrils. I think because of the eucalyptus opens it up, but it's really relaxing also. So it helps them sleep because of the lavender, obviously, and it's not too harsh. It really is it. It smells amazing. Um, okay, another thing is hair products. My daughter, she um, has like she has had curly hair since she was born, but now because she still has her baby hair, um, her curls are not going away. But um, 
I haven't cut her hair by the way. That's the only reason why I haven't cut it. But her curls, she has like little spirals. Whoa. Don't be throwing the door, mama, okay? So she has like spiral ends to her hair. So like it's straight from right here and then at the end they're like really coiled up. And it's the cutest thing ever. And I don't want it to go away. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't cut her hair off. I'm going to let it grow until she says she doesn't want it no more. Um, so one of the things that really, um, how do you say it, locks her curls to make it pop more is this product. Um, I've had problems because, I have, not problems. Uh, I've had trouble searching for like, or like, I like getting a lot of like non-toxic products for her hair because it's, like, it's still her baby hair so I don't want to damage it. But this one's one of the ones I've really liked and then there's another one. But um, I haven't been able to find it again and um, that's the reason why I found this one. I actually bought this one I think at Rite It or CVS. And I just saw it and I, and I was like, you know what, I might as well try it. And it comes like in this little jar and it's called Curly Kids. And actually for any like mixed, it says right there, mixed texture hair care. Texture hair care. Sorry, I keep freaking blabbering. And it's like for curly, kinky, coily, wavy, and frizzy hair. So it's for all kinds of like for curly hair. And it's a leave-in conditioner. So you can take them in the shower. Or you don't have to take them in the shower. You just rub it in. And it's like, it does a trick. Trust me, it really does. And I always apply it to her after she takes a bath or whenever I'm, I'm ready like to do her hair. I like, I just rub it in her hair. And it's just, it's just beautiful. It really is. I recommend it. It's Curly Kids. I think that's the product of the name. The name of the product, I mean. Because it doesn't have any other name. It just says Curly Kids right there in yellow. So, yeah. You can find it at like your drugstore. I'm not sure Walgreen has it, but I bought it at Rite Aid. What was that store right there? CVS, huh? Yeah, it's CVS. I bought it at CVS. There we go. Another thing that I use for her hair, this one my grandmother, um, she told me this little trick. I use it for myself too. So if you mamas have had problems with your hair after giving birth, like I did, I really did have problems with my hair. It became really thin. She took a lot out of me, vitamin wise and everything wise. So uh, my grandmother, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows this, but my grandmother says to use like coconut oil in your hair. So like every time before bed, um, you put I got this one. This one I got from the grocery store. So any kind of coconut oil, I'm pretty sure. But I used this one, and I got this one at um, Sam's Club because they were big, and I, I got them at two products I think, and I gave one to my sister. So um, I used coconut oil. I put it on her hair because her hair gets really um, tangled, and and sometimes it gets really dry. I'm not sure why. Um, I think I have to start buying her a conditioner or something, but I don't know. But um, I put it on my hair, and then I kid you not, not too long ago, my hair was like up to here, and like it's been growing since then. So you just leave it in overnight, and then the next day you just wash it off. Because if you don't, I notice that if you leave it on the next day still, like it, it gives your hair like kind of like a burnt smell. Because I think the sun kind of like cooks it or something. I don't know. I don't know what it does, but just wash it off first thing in the morning. Make sure to do that. Um, and it leaves your hair like beautifully soft and like silky. I think it really does. Oh, sorry. I'm talking too fast. I gotta slow down. But yes, totally recommend doing that for your kids. If you have like girls with long hairs, I recommend doing that. And these are really, really soft. Um, so that's one of the products I use. Sorry, I have no more space. Um, another thing, uh, I think this is, oh no, she has like one more thing. Two more things, actually. Um, I have the Neosporin for kids. I'm not sure why I left it, to be honest, because I just cleared out her backpack and I think she got it or something. But this one's for like the adults, but I take kids Neosporin everywhere, everywhere. I don't care if you think your kids are like not clumsy at all, you need to take it with you everywhere because in any situation, somebody might bump into your kid and she might fall and scrape her hands and it totally, ugh, I just, what kind of parent doesn't carry Neosporin for their kids? Come on, come on, that's logical right there, especially when you take them to the park. Always carry some sort of antibiotics for your kids and I think they even have spray-ons, but it, I don't like the spray on ones. I like the, the creamy ones because I can apply it to her and it lasts you so much longer. But yeah. Uh, another thing, I was like really against this at first, you know, as a mom. But you know what? Our kids are growing in the in the oh, in the age of technology, so we can't really keep them from all that, you know. Um, I actually got this tablet from school and I wasn't gonna buy her one at all, so I'm kind of got lucky with this one when I started school. They gave me a tablet for school and you get to keep it obviously so 
Um, I never use it. I want to use it for the books when I was in school and everything, which is in here, which is the Kindle. There we go. So if you guys know what a Kindle is and you know what I'm talking about, um, you can download Netflix. The thing I like about this is that it doesn't like, I'm not sure, it doesn't let you download YouTube. And that's cool because I don't like her on YouTube most of the time. So the things I do download, did download for her on here were some games. Hi, baby. You know, brush your hair? Hold on, can I show them your tablet? Yeah? Oh. Can I show it to them? Here, how about you sit down with me and you show it to no. them too? Come sit down, mommy. Come here. Ooh. No. There we go. So she already saw her tablet. So I was gonna try and show you. Can I show him? Hold on. So she asked, I like it because I can download Netflix. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, fine. I'll just explain to them. I was gonna show them the games that I have for you. But I have Netflix downloaded. And the cool thing about Netflix is when you're out and don't have like carry on Wi-Fi with you, you can download movies or episodes from Netflix and you can just watch them offline. So whenever she's bored or in the car, I put some movies for her from Netflix or she plays games. I have offline games for her. But yeah, so um, I have Netflix down there and then I have Disney now. Um, I haven't really like, um, I haven't really gone through that yet, um, but I'm pretty sure, I think it has like games in there also or something like that. I don't know, I haven't checked that one out yet. Um, but I have another game, I forget what the app is called, I think it's called Kid Kidopia or something, but they're mostly educational games. I always, before I download them or show it to her, I always go through the games myself to see if she'll get it. Or if it's like, you know, entertaining enough for her and if it's not, I take it off and, you know, I just look through. You just gotta look through what your kids like or what you want them to learn or what's easy for them, you know, at their pace. So right now I think it's Kidopia and she loves it. I, I always make sure it has animals in it because she's an animal person or animals, an animal kid. So when she sees like animals, she's like super happy and content. Yeah. So right, yeah, good job. So right now she's playing like this little bet game. Oh, let me show you guys. Just a little thing. Good job. So let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Can I show them what you're playing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. So she's playing this game. This is like a little vet game. Like she's being the vet and she helps like the animals in need of care. So right now she's like it shows them shapes of band aids. Yeah. So she needs to put the band aid in the correct shape area of where he's hurt. So it helps her with her shapes to know her shapes and the difference. And it helps her to be so caring, huh, Mama? You taking care of the cow? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh, he got ouchies, huh? So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's one of the the games I recommend. I absolutely love this one. Um, the thing is, yeah, yeah, baby. So, the thing is, it doesn't have all the animals or all the games unlocked, and um. You just, you, you know, like every other app, you need to like, you know, monthly prescription. I think it's like seven bucks or something. It's not a lot, but you know, I don't, sorry, I have a little but I was trying to keep it in. But, um, yeah, it's an, honestly, it's not too much. Yay! But, um, my boyfriend doesn't think it's too worth it just because it's like a little game and everything. But he does want to get her ABC Mouse. We want we want to try ABC Mouse. I can't really recommend it because I haven't tried it myself. Good job. There you go. So, yeah. But I think we're going to try ABC Mouse for her because she loves, you know, interactive games like that. And, and I play with her also interactively. But she gets tired of it because, um, you know, she's home with me all day. She doesn't want to play with mama all day. So she does her thing on her tablet. Um, so that's one of the things I wanted to show you, her tablet. So you just play with the apps of the games for toddlers. And if you like them for your kid, and you like them for your kid. If you don't, just keep trying. They have a lot of apps down there. Another, this is the last Hi. thing. Yeah. I got you. Oh, okay, so she sees everything. Got you, Mom. This is the last thing I wanted to show you. We actually got, got this. You. You're welcome, baby. We actually got this for her at Disneyland when we went to Disneyland. And it's, and it's her Moana doll. Can I show them? You want to show them your Moana? So this is a Moana doll, it's like a stuffed toy. Okay, yeah. go with Kiki then, go. So I, that's what I wanted to show you, her Moana doll. Whatever she's holding right there. But um, yes, baby. You want a candy? Yeah, go sit down in the bed then. Tell Kiki to open it for you. But tell Kiki to open it and go sit down in the bed. Say please. 
gonna open it? All right, so yeah, I wanted to show you her Moana doll. And the reason I wanted to show you that is because I'm pretty sure every little toddler goes through a phase where they have to have something, they need to go with them. And you know, don't don't neglect it because um, what I've noticed with her, whenever she needs to go potty and she holds it, and she really like, she holds it so bad where she like wants to like rebel against going to the, to the potty. But I end up grabbing her doll, which is a Moana or any doll that she's obsessed with that day. Um, and I tell her, well, you know, Moana needs to go potty, so let's take her potty. And then I take her potty and she sits down on her toilet and then she sees that and it becomes like an interacting thing for her. And then she's like, okay, well, I need to go potty too. She, like, it's more of a comfort thing for the kids, you know. So don't neglect it for them. Like, if you don't want to hold it all day, make them hold You got to teach them to hold on to their things. And, you know, you're a parent, so if they get tired of holding on to their things, just put in the diaper bag. That's what we have diaper bags for, right? Yeah, she said yeah. So that's one of the things I want to show you, her mom and all. She takes it with her everywhere. She sleeps with her and if she doesn't sleep with her, she notices it's not next to her. She starts crying for her Moana, but not to the point where she's like screaming or anything. She just gets sad. So um, I bring her Moana with her everywhere when we go out. Um, it's more comforting for her. So that's one of the things I want to show you. Um, aside from like toddler stuff that I've recommended, I want to do like a little mommy note to you guys. Uh, it it is all about your kids, but it also isn't because you need to take care of yourselves. If you can't take care of yourselves, how the heck are you going to take care of another person, right? Right? Yeah. I'm right. So, find your thing that makes you, like, distressed. Like, I, it can be stressing. Like, a lot of people be like, why are you so stressed about taking care of your kid? It's stressing. It really is stressful when you're with them 24-7. It's a beautiful thing. Don't get me wrong. Yes, baby. Yeah. Eat it. What, you want another candy? Okay, just one more and that's it, okay? That's it. No more after that, okay? That's it. No more. Yeah, so it can be really stressing just because you're 24-7 with your kid. Um, especially if you don't have, like, any friends, like, near you to hang out with and to have, like, adult conversations type thing. Um, it can be really stressful. So find your thing, you know drink tea or wake up earlier than your kid does read a book or go for a jog or work out or just find your thing my thing personally it works for me sometimes um i coffee coffee is my distress like it really helps me unwind um i know for most people it's like coffee like that should make you more hyper no for some reason with me coffee like really like winds me down and if I don't want coffee, then I just make myself a cup of tea. I really do. Um, I do that. Um, I play a video game on my on my boyfriend's PC. I play The Sims 4 because I like, I don't know, the aspect of building things. It's really awesome. Oh, yes. Yes. Don't even try another one. That's cute. But, yeah. So, I do. I drink coffee. I play a little Sims 4. Um, building helps me relax. I do it mostly for the building. If not for the building, I just play a little bit. And if I got tired of it, then I get tired of it. You know, you don't have to play it. And um, vlogging. Doing videos for me is another way of like, um, getting away from all that, not mommy life, but like, you know, just having that little me time with you guys, you know? So that's one of the things I also do. Um, but you don't have to do all that. This is just a, like a mommy self note. Always make sure to find your thing to calm you down, to unwind you from all that stress of being with the toddler 24-7 because it could be stressful and you guys know what I mean. If you, if some people want to take it the wrong way, take it the wrong way. But I know what I'm talking about. Some people know what I'm talking about and if you don't, then you don't. I'm sorry. What, what can I tell you? But that's the end of my top 10 mommy things and I hope you guys like it and if you guys do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel we are awesome I promise you I know we haven't vlogged every day but that's because we haven't found anything interesting to do lately so once we do you guys are definitely coming with us and I'll see you guys in our next vlog bye you wanna say bye? I'll say bye then She wanted to say bye, you guys. Bye. Say bye right there. Bye. Say good night. Good night. <laughs>